Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pammy and on here I am reviewing all things clean beauty. So today is going to be such an exciting video because today I'm going to be revisiting a full face by the brand Fitglow Beauty. I've already done a full face review by the brand Fitglow Beauty, but I thought it was about time to give you a little bit of an update, to revisit some of these products and to also play with some new products. So what's actually really exciting is that Fitglow did send me a brand new release by them. It's basically a brand new lip color serum that they are launching this weekend. Everything else I purchased with my own money. So some of the new products, they're not new, they're just new to me. And I also have the biggest change of heart about one particular product. So I just wanted to let you know, give you a little bit of an update about all these products and what I think about them now. So if you're unfamiliar with Fitglow Beauty, Fitglow Beauty is an American clean beauty brand. They are super non-toxic, use amazing ingredients, also organic ingredients. They are very vegan friendly. If a product is not vegan, it's basically because it does contain organic beeswax. So their makeup is not only makeup, their makeup also has a lot of skincare benefits. I mean, you know, it's like skincare and a bottle of makeup, basically. If you look at these ingredients, you're going to be stunned by them. That's why I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of an updated review because this brand is quite pricey. So I just wanted to let you know, you guys, how I feel about them now compared to back then. I would suggest watching my other video. I will link it in the description box below because I might be showing some products in that video that I'm not going to be showing you guys today. But yeah, you guys, without no further ado, let's just go barefaced and let's revisit Fitglow Beauty. So you guys, I am barefaced right now and ready to kick it off with those beautiful Fit Glow Beauty products. Basically, I've already prepped my skin with their skincare line. So Fit Glow Beauty does not really carry a primer. I would suggest if you do have drier skin to prep your skin with a moisturizer. They do have some amazing moisturizers as well. But yeah, so let's start with their foundation. So this is the Vita Active Foundation and this retails for $55. Have to say this is such a great foundation. It is a little bit pricier. But if you're looking at these ingredients, I mean, they are squeaking clean. They are so skin nourishing. It's a really good foundation. I have emptied out multiple of these bottles already. So yeah, I've been really happy with this foundation. The only thing that is a little bit more limited with this foundation is their shade range. Um, they only carry nine shades. I hope they will expand the shade range in the future. At the moment, I am using the shade 1.5. I also do have the shade one and it's slightly too fair for me. I also tried out the shade two, which is a little bit too dark for me. And then the shade three, I bought that one in the beginning. That was, I think the very first shade I bought and that was way too orange for me. So I'm gonna insert some swatches for you guys of the foundation shades so you can see the difference. This bottle is almost empty. I hope I can still pump something out of here. So this foundation is 98% organic. It's vegan. It has vitamin C. It has botanical hyaluronic acid. It has seaweed bio extracts. It's non-comedogenic and it's silicone free. This is also an aloe based foundation. It's gonna give you on the first layer a medium coverage but you can definitely build this one up so let's start applying the foundation i prefer using a brush with this foundation and i'm just going to quickly put my hair back and then we'll start this has a very lightweight texture it's kind of almost like a mousse it's a little bit fast drying so i'm just going to dot it on and then immediately spread it out So this definitely has more of a matte finish. It looks so nice on the skin. It really melts in with your skin. And as you were able to see, 
when I put on the foundation, it looked slightly fairer than it looks now. So once you apply this, the shade will slightly adjust to your skin tone. I always feel like that when I apply this foundation with a brush that it initially streaks on me. It's basically because of the texture. It's such a moussey, nourishing foundation and it has a very quick dry down. But once you buff it out correctly, the streaking kind of disappears. So yeah, I have to say, I really like how this looks. It really has like a skin like finish, sort of more on the matte side, but not matte as in cakey, you know. It still looks hydrated, it looks beautiful, it gives you a little bit of luminosity as well. Uh, works perfect for my combination skin, to be honest with you guys. So I really honestly still love this foundation. It's a great foundation. I just wish they would expand their shade range. So the coverage of this foundation is really good. Um, it gave me a really good solid coverage. The only place where I did go in with a second layer was on my chin. But everywhere else, I feel like it looks super pretty. So if you're looking for a foundation that has a little bit more coverage, this is definitely a foundation that will offer you that. And you just have to let it dry down and then you can go in with a second layer on top of it and it will give you even more coverage. So I left out my eye area a little bit on purpose because we're going to go in with the next product, their concealer. So this is their Conceal Plus and this retails for $42. I'm using the C2 shade for my under eye area and then I go in on the spots with the C2.5 shade. Um, this concealer is really good. It's super full coverage. The only thing is if you do use too much of this product, it can crease. So I would advise you to not use a lot of product, especially if you want to use it on your under eye area. Just go in with the tiniest amount. It has more of a luminous finish to it, like a shiny finish. So yeah, let's just go ahead and let's conceal my face. I feel like I just want to go under my eyes a little bit and that's about it. So I'm just going to use a sponge today. I'm going to let this sit on my skin for a good minute and then I'm just going to go in with the sponge and buff it out. Okay, so the concealer is applied, so let's move on to set my face. So Ficlo has just recently launched their Vita Set and Perfect Powder. It's a brand new powder formulation. They sell this in this really cool packaging that comes with a brush. I feel like this powder is really cool for on the go, just to, you know, touch up. And I do think you can actually separate the brush and, you know, take the powder out and just use it as a loose powder. They have this in a translucent shade and they also have pigmented powders. So if you're interested in their powder, go and check that out. I actually don't have that product, but I've got something else. And this is a little bit of a tease because you can't really buy this product. This was actually a gift for their birthday, but it also has this powder in it, right? So this is their glow palette and this has a translucent setting powder, a highlighter and a bronzer. So unfortunately this palette is not available for sale. This was a gift for Fit Glow's birthday. So if you put an order through that day, you were gifted this palette. Got this with my order, I was completely clueless. I opened up my order and I went like, wait, what? What is this? I did not order this palette. And I was like, wait, this looks amazing. And I really hope that they're gonna make this item a permanent one. It is so good. And yeah, this does have their translucent setting powder. It does come in a pressed form. So I do assume it's the same formulation than their Vita Set and Perfect powder. Um, so cool, you guys. I mean, this palette is amazing. This is literally everyone's dream, right? A powder, a bronzer, and a highlighter all in one. Such a cool setup, and these shades are amazing. So I'm gonna just... So it's a translucent powder, but it looks pretty yellow. 
Um, it does come up on the skin a little bit yellow, I've got to say. It's not completely translucent on my skin. It kind of melts in with the skin though, but um, yeah, it just has a yellow sheen to it. So I'm just gonna set my concealer with the powder and then we're gonna go over the entire face and just set the foundation as well. I mean, this is such a good powder. It definitely sets your foundation. I mean, you guys, it doesn't look completely yellow like it does in here, but it definitely kind of feels a little bit like, especially on my under eye, it kind of looks a little bit pigmented. So to me, it's not completely translucent. It's, I mean, it does look yellow, you know. It's, it's a, a yellow shade. Um, does it look weird? No. Does it melt in with the skin? Yes. So I'm not mad at this shade at all. I do think their formulation is pretty, pretty nice. It's not the most mattifying powder in the world, but it does a really good job in just eliminating some of the shine and setting your foundation. And I know you guys, it's a little bit of a tease to show you these next two products, the bronzer and the highlighter, but I really, really honestly love them. And I want to convince Fit Glow somehow to make this a permanent item. It's so good. Um, they're really, really amazing products. So if you were one of the lucky ones and you got this palette, count yourself lucky because I honestly really, really enjoy it. And I really, really hope they're going to make this available for sale. Okay, so let's move on to the bronzing part. I mean, when it comes to bronzing, Fit Glow does definitely have another option and actually two options. Um, they also have this Sunny Days Cheek Trio, and that one comes with a sun kiss bronze, a shaping bronze, and an illuminating rose glow. It's kind of like a blush. So my only problem with this palette is I never reach for this because these bronzing shades, they were just too orange for my skin tone. I felt like they did not really match my skin tone at all. So I feel like this palette is really good for somebody with maybe um, a deeper complexion, um, more of a tan on my fair skin. I mean fair on my light, like light skin. This just looked orange and I don't really like orange bronzes or anything that comes up on my skin as orange. So I never really reached for this product. And yeah, so this is one of these products that I wouldn't repurchase and I'm so happy to have this other shade now um, in that glow palette but yeah just the wrong shades I'm not saying it's a bad product I'm just saying that the shades were completely wrong for my skin tone they also have a cream bronzer this is their lumi firm bronze and this retails for $39 they also have this in another shade that is called sculpt so that's more of a contouring shade this is their cream bronzer, really nice formula. I really, really enjoyed this product as well. Uh, this is not orange, you guys. So if you don't like these orange shade bronzes and you don't mind a cream bronzer, this is definitely a really nice shade. I can swatch it for you on my hand. It's actually, I really love this. This has a great formula. It looks so pretty. It's not overly pigmented. It's actually super nice. Okay, but today I want to go in with that bronzer in their glow palette because that tone it's just a perfect neutral bronzer. It looks so amazing on the skin. And I'm actually going to use one of their brushes, their Teddy Double Cheek Brush. Oh my god. You guys, their brushes are actually really good. And this one is my favorite brush by them. Um, it's an angled brush and then you have on the other side you have a highlighting brush or a blush brush. It's such a great brush. It's uh, very, very soft and I mean, I love it. I seriously like that brush. Okay, so I'm going to go in with that bronzing shade in their glow palette and just bronze up my face. And as you may be able to see, this is so nice. Oh my God, I love this shade so, so much. It's just a perfect neutral bronzing shade. 
and you guys this is just so not patchy it it just feels like butter on the skin and it's also not overly pigmented which i like so you can definitely build this up it's just a perfect perfect bronzer I really love this. This is such an amazing shade. It just looks perfect. Perfect on the skin. Love this bronzer so, so much. So before we're gonna continue and dip into the highlighter in this palette, I do have a new product. <laughs> kind of new to me. I mean, it's not brand new by them. I got myself a blush by Fit Glow Beauty. It's their cream blush. So this is the Lumi Firm Cream Lip and Cheek. And I have this in the shade buff this is such a beautiful blush shade i mean this works perfectly with my skin tone uh, i was literally looking for something like this like something that is not too neon pink it's just the most perfect shade ever you can also use this on your lips i mean it's just so nice and i really truly love this one they also have this in a shade called lumi pop and then they have it in the shade lumi joy I've actually been sent um, a sample of the Joy shade, but it's really not my kind. It's really not my cup of tea, to be honest. I would not purchase the full size, just because it's just too bright for me. I'm gonna show it to you. It's like this really light coral pink. I think it would work nice on my lips, but I don't know if you can see it. But for my uh, complexion. I feel like this is a little bit too pink. It's also very sparkly. This definitely has a shimmer to it, whereas the buff shade does not. So this is a cream, but I just wanted to have mentioned that they've also just recently launched a powder blush palette, and that's the Stillness blush palette. Looks really amazing as well. As I said, I'm not the biggest blush person, so this was okay with me. I was just happy that I found a shade that works so well for me and that I actually like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this to the apples of my cheeks a little bit and then buff it out. And I'm still gonna go in sparingly with that. It's not very pigmented um, and it blends out so, so well, but I don't need much blush, you know. <laughs> I feel like this is such a beautiful shade. Looks so stunning, so natural. I just feel like it gives my face a little bit of warmth. I don't think it looks too pink. It doesn't look fake. It just looks like skin. It looks super healthy. That's why I picked this shade up. I just think it's the perfect blush for me. It looks so nice. And also what I like about it is that it's not overly pigmented. I mean, if you want more of that pigment, you can definitely use more product. I went in super sparingly because I don't like to over blush my face, but I think this is just the perfect amount, the perfect sort of uh, just everything. It just looks super healthy, super beautiful. Okay, so let's move on with the highlighter. So again, with the highlighter, they also do have a cream option. They have the Lumi Firm highlighter, this one. It's more of like a champagne sort of cream highlighter. It's really pretty. I'm going to swatch it for you. I really have loved the, um, the shade and also the finish. It looks super natural on the skin, gives you a beautiful champagne sort of golden shimmer. Really nice really stunning product but today i don't want to use this today i want to use that beautiful highlighting shade that is in this glow palette i mean this one it's superb it's so amazing i love this highlighting shade 
Again, I will repeat myself. I hope they make this a permanent item in their collection because it's so good. All the products in this palette rock. And I think it's such a cool idea to put a highlighter, a bronzer and a setting powder in one palette. Really cool. So apart from the cream highlighter, the Lumifirm part that I just showed you and this glow palette one, they also have an eyeshadow palette, which is called their Glam palette. Um, and that one has a highlighter too. I've got to say, we're going to talk about this palette in a bit, but the highlighting shade in this was not my favorite one. I don't know why, it just looked a little bit too pink on my skin, too... I don't know, I wasn't, I just wasn't the biggest fan of this highlighter. So this one, as you can see, is definitely not the same shade. This one is definitely more... I would say it's icier, it's more luminous, it just looks so much better on the skin than this one, but we're going to talk about this um, palette in a second. But yeah, let's uh, just highlight the face and I'm going to use their Teddy Double Cheek Brush on the other side with the highlighting uh, side and just apply this. It's so nice. Oh man, I love it. This highlighting shade is so pretty. It's almost like icy, you know? It has this like just beautiful icy sort of reflect. It looks a little bit pink, but it actually kind of like matches my skin tone. So it just looks like a stunning highlighter, you know? <laughs> like this perfect highlighting shade, super nice. So you guys, that is my complexion all done, I have to say. I really love it. So I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera because Ficlo does not have an eyebrow product. And then I'll be back with some eyeshadows and the lip products. So my eyebrows are filled in. So let's move on with another product. Unfortunately, they don't make this product anymore. Um, this is their Conceal Eye Bright. Why do I like this product so much? Because this does work for me as an eye primer. This is their old formulation. That one came in this little Lumi Firm part. Uh, they changed this now and it's called Correct Plus. I'm gonna put up a picture on here. So I don't have that product, but I do assume it's more of a concealer consistency. So it probably does have more moisture and I do have pretty oily eyelids. So that would not work for me as an eye primer. And I do assume it's more meant now to put on your under eye area, whereas this, I used to put that on my under eye area and it would crease on me. So I found a new way to use this and I'm just literally using this as an eye primer. It's so, so good as an eye primer. It really does work and I'm not gonna use a lot of products. So I'm just quickly going to apply this one. <music> As you can see, this is yellow. Yellow acts as a corrector for any blueness, so for any veins. And I would not necessarily buy the Correct Plus, their new formulation, unless you do have dark circles. If you don't have any discoloration around your eyes, what's the point? It's a color corrector. I've actually seen people using the Correct Plus under their eyes and they don't have any discoloration whatsoever. So I don't understand what the point of that is. Um, it's a color corrector. It's called Correct Plus. It's not going to be a concealer, you guys. Um, yeah, anyway, I feel like this just really cancelled out all my discoloration. I do have some really thin skin on my eyelids and around my eyes I do have a little bit of veins and I feel like it covered everything up pretty well. And it's also going to work so well as an eye primer for powder shadow. So let's move on to their eyeshadow palettes. 
Um, Fit Glow Beauty has four eyeshadow palettes in total. I do have two of them. I have the Glam palette and this retails for $69. And I have their Day palette and this retails for $69 as well. So they also do have a night palette, which is sort of the other version of the day palette, just in darker shades. And they also have a new one, their Stillness uh, palette, but I'm not sure. I think that might be a limited edition. I did not pick up that one. Uh, I have the Glam palette and the Day palette and you guys, uh, let's talk about them. So $69 for an eyeshadow palette. I mean, it's not just an eyeshadow palette. It's, it's going to come with something else, you know. Uh, in the Glam palette, you do have this highlighter that I mentioned before and you do have five eyeshadows. For some reason, this is the one palette that I rarely use just because the color story, I feel like you can't really do much with this <laughs> there is one matte shade which is this and then you have all shimmers and for some reason i mean you could do like this shade and this shade but like you know what i mean it's just not necessarily a palette that you can combine a lot of eye looks with you know um i do think the colors are also very dark i always prefer a little bit brighter colors in general. So the formula is a little bit more powdery than the other eyeshadow palettes. So you guys, honestly, I would not really recommend this palette. Um, I do think there are better options out there. Also the highlighter, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of that highlighting shade. In general, one thing I would like to critique here is the general setup of this entire palette. I would prefer if they would actually put four eyeshadows in a row another four eyeshadows and then another four eyeshadows so that you have 12 eyeshadows to actually create a look with. And it's just a little bit of wasted space in general. I mean, it looks stunning, but uh, it's a little bit impractical, you guys, you know. Um, so this palette, uh, unfortunately, is not my favorite and I would honestly not really recommend it. However, this is one of my favorite palettes of all times. And this is the day palette. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so stunning and it might just look like just very simple. But the formulation of these shades is so amazing. They're so buttery, so easy to blend, um, not powdery at all. Beautiful colors for an everyday look. Um, okay, the only thing that I don't like obviously is this blush. <laughs> I would have loved if they would have added more of these shades because... I never use this blush. This shade does not work for me. The rest of this eyeshadow palette is so stunning. I honestly love it. It is super pretty. Uh, and I'm gonna create a look with just this palette today. Uh, honestly, I've been using this coconut shade right here <laughs> for a lot of uh, other looks because it's just this beautiful cream white with a lot of pigment. And sometimes white eyeshadows are just it's just so hard to find a good white eyeshadow. This one is amazing. But then again, do I think $69 for this palette? I mean, it's a little bit overpriced, to be honest with you. So I always like to just go in with this coconut shade and literally put it all over my eyes as a base. It's so pretty. It's like my favorite shade in the entire palette. And uh, I tend to overuse this shade. Um, I'm gonna hit pan on this soon as well. Very little fallout and really good pigmentation. All right, such a beautiful base shade, so Let's move on. I'm gonna move on with the shade Elm. It's a pretty neutral brown. Very, very pretty for the crease. So I'm just gonna use that. So let's go in now with the shade Storm, the darkest shade in here, and let's intensify the edges of my crease basically. Mm. 
now I want to go in with the shade Wise, this one, and I just kind of want to bring it into the crease as well and just kind of mix it in with the Elm shade just a little bit. So I do want to take this shade Fawn. It's sort of like a soft peachy shade. I'm going to put that all over my lids. So now I want to put in the skin toned uh, eyeliner by Pacifica. Um, it's literally a flash toned eyeliner. It's, it's going to open up my eyes and look super nice. All right. So next up, I want to go back into the shade Storm, the darkest shade here, and drag that uh, across my lower lash line. Alright you guys, so I could leave it at this, but I kind of want to go back into the coconut shade, the creamy white shade here and just intensify a little bit my brow bone with this. Just a little bit, just the slightest bit. Okay you guys, so almost there. I want to go back into that glow palette and I want to take this highlighting shade now. And highlight my brow bone with this, highlight, you know, the corner of my eyes and drag it down a little bit as well. I think that's my eyeshadow look done. I've got to say, I really enjoy this day palette by Fit Glow. I feel like you can create just a really stunning, very simple look with these couple of shades. I think these eyeshadows are very good. The formulation of this day palette is so stunning. I honestly really love it. Okay, you guys, so let's move on. To the next step, let's put on some mascara. So this is their Vegan Good Lash Mascara and this retails is for $38. You guys, this is definitely the product where I do have the biggest change of heart from using it the very first time around to using this now. I do think this is one of these mascaras that sort of changed the formula once they're opened up for a certain amount of time. And in the beginning, I did not like this. I gotta be really honest with you. I did not enjoy this mascara. I thought it was dry. I thought it was clumpy. I'd, I don't know, it just flaked on me. It was kind of a mess, but I gave it a second chance. And I have to say, I'm so glad I did because now I really do think this is one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. And it's so bizarre. I think this has been open for a good four to five months already. And it is literally a different mascara now. I feel like it's not the most buildable mascara. You can definitely go wrong with this if you build it up too much. And um, yeah, biggest change of heart ever, you guys. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and then we'll apply it. So the applicator of this mascara, it is a pine cone shaped applicator. And I feel like with this, it's super important to scratch off a little bit the product. Don't take too much product on the brush because that's where you can go wrong a little bit. So once you remove a little bit of the product, you're good to go. Okay, so let's apply this. This looks so stunning. Um, I don't know why, but this eye always looks better than this eye. <laughs> I think it's just my lashes. But if we turn around a little bit, I mean, 
hope you can see this. This is really giving my lashes some volume. It has opened them up, gave them this super mega feathery look as well. I feel like it looks so stunning. And now I do think that this mascara is not as dry, it's not as clumpy as it was in the beginning. Um, it's just different. It's completely different. And I mean, it looks stunning. <laughs> I honestly love this mascara. My eye look is done. So let's get rid of these clips. So let's move on to the lips and to a brand new product release as well. So before I show you the new product release, I just wanted to show you real quickly what the options are when it comes to lip products with Fit Glow. So you do have the Lumifirm Lip and Cheek Pots, the one that I put on my cheeks as a blush. And you do have their lip creams. I have this in the shade Beach and I have this in the shade Adore and they retail for $42. So I'm not going to put on their lip creams today. But I've got this really beautiful shade Adore that I picked up lately and I just want to swatch them on my hands for you. So this is the shade Adore and this is the shade Beach and they come in this really cool packaging. You just have to click the top and then the lipstick comes out like that. Really nice. I honestly am a big fan of these. I would definitely recommend them. I really love this shade Adore. It's such a nice plum shade. It's super pretty. I'm not going to put these on because I do want to show you their new product release that I've got from them. These are their lip serums and they retail for $40 each. And this is their new product launch. This is the shade Halo. So let's quickly talk about these lip serums. I have to say the formulation of these lip serums is fantastic. They're so, so good. I've got them in quite a lot of colors. I've actually put all of these shades on my lips in my other video. So if you want to see how each of these shades is actually wearing on the lips, go and check that video out. Um, but today I'm obviously going to put on that new shade. I literally have seven shades. This is the shade Gleam. I mean, <laughs> I've been wearing this quite a lot. The bottle, it's almost halfway through. It's so good. And then I also really like the shade Bear. That's a beautiful vanilla shade. It's so stunning. You can put this on top of any lipstick. It's just going to look so nice. It's going to soften up the color a little bit. It's not your standard lip gloss. It's more of like a really hydrating sort of treatment for your lips, you know. I also love this shade Root. It's a little bit of a deeper brown. It works so well on my brown lipsticks. So they have come out with so many more colors. I do think they're also going to release some new colors at the end of the year. They're not heavily pigmented, you know. Um, they're sort of medium pigmented. They're not like a lip stain or anything like that, but they're very, very good for your lips. If you do have dry lips, I would definitely recommend these. And even if you don't have dry lips, I would still recommend these. They're really, really good. I also just wanted to mention their lip color serum um, in their clear shade, the night one. It's actually like a night treatment and this bottle, it's empty. It's completely empty. I've put this on my lips every night before I went to bed. Uh, I do even think that this night one is a little bit thicker in consistency as the colored ones. Um, but you can also use this obviously during the day if you just want a clear one. So they also naturally plumb the lips without irritation while filling lines and increasing moisture. So they also contain a vegetable collagen. They have pomegranate sterols and bead extract. However, this formulation is not vegan. They do contain beeswax. I just want to have pointed that out. I have been a huge fan and I can't wait to show you this shade halo on my lips today this product is launching this weekend oh my gosh you guys when i saw this shade though i was like no way this is exactly what i wanted it's like a nude coffee brown it's so pretty um i'm just gonna swatch it on my hands so you can see how beautiful the shade is it's so my cup of tea it's really stunning. So let's go ahead. I mean, honestly, to me, this is like my favorite shade of all of them because it's like the color that I prefer uh, with any sort of lip color. 
um, and it's just it's absolutely stunning that actually concludes this video i hope you enjoyed me revisiting a full face of fit glow beauty and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you have not joined the clean beauty family yet i would absolutely love to have you here you just have to hit that subscribe button and you can also ring the bell to stay notified about my upcoming videos and i shall be seeing you on here very very soon again with the next video so please take care thank you so much for watching bye bye <laughs>